Hey, it's Tara Jen again, and happy Friday the 13th. I hope it's lucky, I hope you're fortunate, and I hope you're blessed. And my card for today was the judgment card, which is so appropriate because the judgment card is like a rebirth. I'm using this card from the Goddess Oracle, and it says, I awaken to the timelessness of body, spirit, and soul. All illusions are shattered. In other words, let go of things that don't really matter, the judgment others have of you. Only God is our judge. So the judgment card, though, is also about letting go of illusions, of, of dreams that you know are not going to come true, and focusing on the now, the present be very much in it and the judgment card encourages me to let one cycle end and let a new one begin i want everything new in my life my whole tarot practice of 34 years i have a wealth of experience but i wanted a new place new clothes new chair new everything because i want to make it fresh and new so I'm going to use the good tarot, and today, since it is Friday the 13th, I want you to think of letting the old you die, because uh, it is the death card number 13, and death is all about life, eternal life. I went to a celebration of life last night for Harris Willard, and the focus was on him being in paradise, him following the guide path of Jesus Christ, and even though we make mistakes, we can try to get on the right path in our lives. And for me, tarot is a tool to help guide me because our future and our present is all about our choices, our mistakes, the chances we take. So here we go. The messenger of fire. This is definitely my messenger in the past two months. I've had an awakening. Um, the messenger of fire does bring the message to do what makes you happy, to do what is your passion. Um, Harris Willard liked to fix cars and motors, as I understand. He was a fix-it man, loved engines. I love to read the tarot, and that is what I'm supposed to do. I finally accepted that. The emperor, ah, well, the emperor can be a woman, and very often is. I have this one out. This is the emperor, and it is a woman. And I feel like I'm finally coming into my power now that I'm in my 60s. I'm the lioness. I can be the cougar. I can be the one in power, not giving my power to men, giving my power to whoever I'm married to, to whoever I'm around, letting them take my power. I want them to enhance my power or I don't need them in my life. Next, the sun. Well, the sun, here comes the sun. I feel like I was in the abyss for a while. I had to go under, I had to go in the coffin, but now I've come out, I'm alive. And the sun is all about being happy, being where you can shine, where you're free. I know in some of the movies, um, sci-fi movies, there are lands where there is no sun. They've never seen sunlight. So let the sun, S-U-N, and the sun, S-O-N, shine in you and in your life. And then you can be a light for others. Oh, wow. The star. Aren't I blessed today? I feel lucky today. The star is you are a star no matter who you are. You're a shining star. You're a superstar. And I'm going to believe and have faith. Follow your star. Lasso the star. Be the star. And one last card. The five of fire. And the five is when you're constructing something, just like a pentacle. Earth, air, fire, water, spirit. The five of fire is when you work with others who are on your team. They're your dream team. The five, like the five on Fox. Be sure that you only give your energy and share your energy with people who are also light bringers and fire starters. And that is the tarot for today. Call me for your private reading.